she, she just randomly asked me, like, Rosie, are you happy? <clears throat> and I was like, happy? Like, when is the last time someone asked me if I'm happy? I just hopped on here because my best friend has texted me something and I was just like, that is a very thought-provoking question. She, she just randomly asked me, like, Rosie, are you happy? <clears throat> and I was like, happy? Like, when is the last time someone asked me if I'm happy? And I just told her, like, what do you mean? And she was like, you know, based off of the conversation that we had yesterday, I just, sorry, my chair, sorry. I just wanted to confirm, like, if there's anything I can do, I'm willing to do for you, like, I'm here for you. And I was just like, that is so sweet. First of all, thank you. Um, about happiness, I feel like happiness is as much a choice as it is a happy chance. Like, it's just something, it's an emotion like any other. It comes and it goes. But I feel like the older you get and the more self-aware you become, you'd learn to choose moments of joy and moments of happiness. And I gave her an example of like the other day, I was on a Buddha Buddha. Um, I was on a motorcycle. Yeah. There's this place we normally pass, it has really good sunlight, trees, beautiful, beautiful place. And I was just like, like, oh my God, the sun is hitting me the right way. I opened my eyes and I saw like a, a white butterfly just cruising along with us. And I was like, oh my God. I'm just gonna choose to be happy and to be present and to be here. This is a five second window of just bliss, pure bliss. And I told her like, does that mean I was gonna have the best day of my life? Probably an okay, regular, average day. But listen, I found five minutes of joy and I chose it and I seized it and I drowned in it and then I was like, good, okay, cool. Let's move on. And I kind of feel like that's that's what happiness is and that's how all other emotions are and that's why self-awareness is literally very 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 important because you need to learn to, to feel what you need to feel when I'm sad listen I'm not trying to pretend for nobody I am sad um, I'm everyone will tell you I don't know how to like hide <laughs> maybe I should learn but if I'm happy, I'm happy. If I'm sad, I'm sad. If I'm discontented, I'm discontented. And I sit with it and I deal with it. Because I know, like, this is, not, this is not forever. It's just a moment. That's what your emotions are. But your day, your attitude, your mentality, your perspective, your outlook on things, that is a choice you need to make. So I just told her, like, am I lacking a couple of things? Absolutely. But when I look at what I am not lacking, I call myself super, super blessed. And I'm not talking like material stuff, I'm talking like generally in life. And I told her this, I told her I am very, <clears throat> excuse me. So I told her I'm very content. I'm not always happy. There are moments where I'm like, Ugh. yeah, and then I move on. Um, but for the most part, I'm content. And I told her that's because the choices I've been making of late reflect the kind of joy that I want in my life. So when it comes to my friends, the food I'm eating, I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best to make habits that are good for me, good for my mental health. I'm trying to be the best at my workplace. I'm trying my best. And I feel like I'm content knowing that I've given it my all. And even when I fail and I you know, slip up, I'm learning to just be okay and I don't know what how to express contentment maybe someone else in the comment section can let us know what like the definition of contentment is but I'm feeling very content and I can't call that happiness because happiness is like like a nice high you know like you just get high on it and then it's, it's depleted it's fast escaping but contentment is something I sleep with I wake up content I go to bed content even in good moments I'm content, in bad moments I'm contentment is something you should pursue. And I feel like I I would advise someone to pursue contentment starting in the place that makes them unhappy. If it's like a bad situation, a bad relationship, a bad job, where where are you leaking in joy? Because as much as we don't chase happiness, we're not always living in euphoria. Peace of mind is a prerequisite for contentment. 
uh, because contentment is very, very. Um, um, I feel like contentment is very choice oriented in the, in the, in this way. Yeah, you're not always gonna be in very ideal situations. You might get a very well-paying job in a very horrible country with horrible hours, or there's always gonna be something that's not like to your liking. You know, and we tend to think that happiness is getting what I want. Sometimes happiness is appreciating what you have first, then figuring out how to get what you want. And that's how you achieve contentment is, I, that's why I said peace of mind is a prerequisite for contentment because you need to be present. You need, I feel like a, I am more happy when I am present, when I'm just in those random Buddha Buddha rides. Sometimes it's the sunset when we're going home in the car. Sometimes it's like quietness in my office. It's random, it just comes upon me. But you need to be in a place to contain it, you understand? And I feel like for contentment, you just need to choose. I sat down with myself, I looked at everything that has led up to where I am, and I was like, okay, I'm okay with this, I wish this was better. So you need to be self-aware to, to find some kind of contentment, but I think contentment is what you should pursue more than happiness. Happiness will find you. Create space for it. Create room for it. Be present. Happiness will find you. But contentment, you have to you have to just accept. And you have to to want to be content. Because I feel like most people who are not content, our Jatosheka, they're always chasing like more, 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 more. And you know, the people who say a lot, I hear people say this a lot, oh Mimi. I don't like mediocre, anything mediocre, it's like okay, but we're all mid, like life as a human is mid, it's not what it was supposed to be, we're living a mid life, so you just gonna have to be okay with mid, and then I feel like when you accept your mid, you're able to like spice it up, you know, so that's how I feel, happiness finds me in very random places, but anytime, wherever I am, sleeping or awake, I'm very content, I wish that on you, and I wish I had everybody. That's something that, that's my wealth right now. <laughs> I don't have a lot of earthly possessions, but um, I'm glad I haven't lost my soul. <laughs>